10 percent off and then if you don't like you mentioned the mushrooms there and and yeah no i, I mean it Rashad. thank you very much um you mentioned the mushrooms, and I remember uh, a couple of years ago, we're in Brooklyn, New York, and we're going over to ESPN for the first day, and you were telling me some shit that was blowing my mind. <laughs> and, 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 like, maybe I need to open my mind. Maybe I'm a little too boxed in. Maybe I'm a little too traditional in my thinking. But um, you're, you're definitely on a different plane when it comes to thinking these days. Um, would, do, do you want to elaborate on any of that and explain Listen, what I'm talking about? the dreadlocks now, Bisping. I didn't re we, you mentioned the haircut up top, but I didn't realize that it all ties together here with this mushroom company. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But but yeah, I mean, we were we were. All right. So the guy concerning a shalom makim mia b'shem yahu shai b'shem rakah kadash brak of thumb. Yahu is the name of Heavenly Father. Yahu shai is the name of the Only Begotten Son. Um, what we got here is this man concerning here is uh, Rashad Evans to the right. Okay. He is going off, and he's going to explain some things. He's in the sorcery and witchcraft, and um. He's out of his mind, and you're, you're going to see what, what exactly he talks about, about doing mushrooms, and that stuff is against the scriptures. So I'm going to go ahead and play this and, you know, listen in. Conversations about parallel universes and all kinds of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Do you, uh, um, yeah, do you want to elaborate and just educate me on that again, please? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I, I think, you know, the mushrooms have been a, a big part of my transformation and, you know, kind of just really diving in, trying to connect with the other part of myself that, um, you know, kind of got away with me through the years of competing and years of just really not touching base with that part of my soul, you know, and, um, you know, really just uncovering myself at, at, at uh, such a, um, a level that just, you know, because of what the mushrooms do, it just kind of pulls you, uh, and it, 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 it makes you naked in a sense on, on, a, on a level where, you know, you're not, you're not, um, carrying this facade of who you think you should be or who people think you are, you know, it kind of just kind of strips you down to just your very essence. And, um, you know, once you're willing to face that and face yourself in ways that you weren't ready to face yourself before, then you can start to grow in the areas where you feel you need to grow. And that's what the mushrooms have been able to do, to do for me, you know, being able to just um, get myself to the point where I uh, started to see and get perspective on different avenues and different things in my life, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's a bit. What, what does that mean exactly? You see what I'm saying? This flawed logic, my man is gone, bro. Like he is through, all right? At the end of the day, brothers, all you need is the Holy Scriptures, all right? The Lord said in John 15 and verse three, now ye are clean through the word that I have spoken unto you. When Yahawashai, who the world calls J.C., or I hate saying his name, Jesus Christ, right? Who who they call that, who's really named Yahawashai in the Paleo-Hebrew, who called his own name in the Hebrew tongue in Acts 26 and 14, out of the clouds, okay? All right. He said, man, to Nicodemus that ye must be born again. Of the water in the spirit. So of the word of the Lord and the understanding thereof. You have to be born again. Not take magic mushrooms, man. All right. This guy's an old bottle. He's through. He's not ever going to receive this. All right. Lord willing. Hopefully he never will. All right. I pray that he doesn't make it. Um, let, let not them come into thy righteousness or something that uh, King David says something to that nature. Let them not come into thy righteousness, man. Like, don't let this man in, yo. Seriously. He's out of his mind. Anyways. Very challenging thing sometimes when you, when you, when you, uh, when you do some of these mushroom uh, ceremonies and things like that because, you know, you're battling yourself. You're battling, you know, different... A mushroom ceremony? You heard what he said? A ceremony? What? Different part of yourself that you really uh, may not see. And, uh, you know, that can be very challenging. But the reward and the gains that you get from it is all real. You know, you, you get these gains. And sometimes you have to go to therapists to get these gains because and have them reinforce you, you know, different perspective 
for you to automatically see, okay, now I, now I get, you know, why I should think this way the therapist, you know, has suggested or whatever the case may be. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that, that's way off, man. You see where he's looking? He's making this shit up. I believe when you look up to the left, up and to the left, your brain is coming up with, a, it's the part of the brain, um, I believe it's in the left side of the brain. I'm not sure if it's called the hypothalamus. I believe that's located in the frontal cortex, I believe it's called. Something to, to that nature. Anyhow, it's, I believe the left side of the brain is to do with imagination. So he's imagining shit, like right now, as you're watching him on the screen. Other people are focusing, and he's imagining some shit. You get the gains from from having a perspective with the mushrooms and... Um... You know they they've been they've been a big part of my growth and they've been a big part of really just helping me discover uh, who I am on another level. And so you gotta wait till you damn near thirty nine, and eat some magic mushrooms to know who you are on another level, bro. It's called getting older, man. As you get older, you start to put down the bullshit, just like Paul said. When I was younger, I had my childish things and when i was older i put my childish things away you don't know what you're talking about man okay and i'll get into the scriptures in a minute lord willing hold on um, um, sorry go ahead lewis i've been dominating sorry. go ahead go ahead no, no please I'm, I'm the drug addict on the show so i figured let me just jump in here um <laughs> i've uh, i've experimented a bunch with psychedelics and they scare the fuck out of me they really really do um, I've just gone, I've gone deep with like LSD and, you know, uh, uh, you know, literally basically every psychedelic you could do. So I don't really do it anymore. Are you like microdosing or are you going on like full like journeys? Well, I, I, I would do microdosing for a while, but, um, when I really, really wanted to like dig deep and really kind of, uh, you know, uncover some things, I'll go deep. I'll go like five grams, you know, five, oh, 10 yeah. grams. I like to get myself just completely just gone you know to the point where i i um you know i i disassociate with uh with who i am and really start to you know feel the essence of what i am you know they're, they're you hear what he just said to disassociate with being who he is yeah so how in the hell is that righteous he's out here promoting and kicking witchcraft all right. The scriptures say thou shall not suffer a witch to live. So in ancient times, in ancient Israel, we would have grabbed up Rashad Evans, brought him to the elders. And that's that. And he would have got dealt with. OK. And thou shall not allow or suffer a witch to live. Bottom line. There's a point where you get to with the mushrooms where you where you stop being who you are as far as the human being. You know, there's another part of yourself that just becomes the higher consciousness that, that we all are, you know, because honestly speaking, all we are is just consciousness, you know? We no, we're actually a spirit, you, you dumbass. See, this guy, this guy is through, man. He's absolutely, completely through. All we are is a consciousness, you know, consciousness, just walking around. That's absolutely through, man. You see, he's imagining it again. He's making this up. Look, he's making this shit up as he goes along. And the up, he's looking to the upper left-hand side. That means he has no idea what he's talking about. Literally. This is a fact, too. We have this physical body, but all we are is just consciousness. You know, um, we're not this physical body. If I cut your arm off, you know, you're still going to be Michael Bisbee, and you're not going to be missing a part of you. You know what I'm saying? So... Once you really truly discover that if my when your body's not You notice how each time he comes up with some crazy wacko shit, he looks to the upper left. Just peep watch him. Watch. I'm telling you, I'm analyzing him perfectly. Uh when your body's not the way you're used to feeling it, but yet you're still there, you're still present, you're still conscious, and you're conscious on another level, then you really start to uh see yourself in a different perspective. You start to see you know, humanity has a different perspective. You start to really feel the deeper connection between you and every other um, living thing in the world. You know, every single thing is is truly connected. And you really feel that once you uh, go deep like that. 
it, it's, you, it's, you see certain things that he said that he would look up with that had more logical sense, and then the things that were completely out of goddamn context, he was looking up to the upper left because he was making it up, and it was just a philosophy of his own self. That's how high he's gotten on these magic mushrooms. See, brothers, see, this, this, is, this is called the result of sorcery and witchcraft. He's a sorcerer, you know? Bottom line. Go ahead, Lewis. So I was going to say, have you done DMT? Because that's like the, the closest thing that we were talking about is when I've taken DMT. And it's scary. It's terrifying. What you're talking about, what, what he's describing right now is pure torture and hell for me. L looking at your, you know, the disappearing of your ego and, and looking at yourself and trying to strip away everything that you've ever been embarrassed about and, and really realizing who you are, that is horrifying. I, don't, I want to do the opposite of that. But I'm assuming the way you're talking about it, you must have done DMT. Yeah, I have. I've done. Um, I've done both of them. I've done the, the toad and the spirit molecule, and the spirit molecule more or less, you know, teach, uh, takes you on a journey from a um, from a personal standpoint. You know, you, you don't really leave your body in a sense. You still have the identity of I. When you do the toad, there is a it's, it's non duality. It's only you, and it's like in this in this place, and and this place feels as if like. It's where you're really at, you know. It feels as if like, it feels as if like this is the simulation, and you really wake up, and you're really wow. somewhere else in this in this place where it's just uh, amazing light and love. That's all I can really describe it as. So basically, what the what he's doing is he's contacting the spirit world. Basically, he he's basically um, uh, be, becoming a diviner uh, in in so much, uh, so to speak. He's basically like um, a medium. He's he's contacting the, the the nether realm, if you will. You know, he's going in. He's going into another plane where he's not allowed to go. You know, and here's the here's the thing, brothers. When you're born, you get a shot of DMT. They say when, when basically when your consciousness, which is your spirit, you know, enters into your body, you get a shot of DMT. And when you die, you also get another shot of DMT. It's a molecule. It's a chemical that your brain, I believe, releases something to this nature. If I hope I'm stating it right, in which, uh, you know, when you leave the planet, basically, or when you leave your body, all right, that's what happens. And you pretty much, it's a chemical that's released to pretty much release your spirit or um, allow your spirit to come into your body. So it it's, he's messing with spirits, man. Messing with spirits. The Most High going to destroy you, man. This is evil as hell. You are evil as hell, man. You're not supposed to know about shit like this. The Most High is going to destroy these guys, man. Uh, him on the right. I, I, I don't know what's going on with these guys on the left. They, they don't seem like they're into that shit at all. And this guy on the left used to be, but he ain't messing with that stuff, man. But this guy on the right, I'm talking about Rashad Evans, man. The Lord is going to destroy your ass. Let's listen to the rest of this folly. You're not getting the scriptures. You know, because I, I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise for anybody else because um, yeah. once you try it and once you once you uh, have that experience... He's talking about licking your toad, Bispin. Yeah, I know, I know, I know he is. I know he is. I've been waiting for him to finish. I'll go, so basically, you lick the toad and you wake up and you're in the fucking Matrix. Put me back in the Matrix because that sounds fucking awful. I don't want to go to war with robots every day. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Listen, it, it's fascinating, Michelle. It is, and I watched a documentary on it recently, and obviously, we all have behavior patterns in our life. And I'm sure a lot of, certainly for me and for a lot of people, they're negative, they're negative behavior patterns. And I, I saw that the, 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 the neural tracks that we have in our brain, they're kind of like pathways in snow, you know, but when you take psychedelics, it's kind of like a fresh snowfall comes down and then therefore those pathways are no longer there and you are free to then make new, better, more beneficial neural pathways. Is, is there any truth to that? Is, is that? is that kind of an accurate assessment? Because if so... Get me some fucking toad and I'm licking the shit out of it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like um, when when I when I when I was doing my microdose, you know, it, it really um, I really felt like the neuroplasticity, you know, really started to take hold because it felt as if like my brain started to grow. You know, I started to have like um, different tastes in music. All of a sudden, I wanted to listen to classical music and I wanted to read more books and I started to really uh, become. Um, much more of a uh, cerebral person, 
you know, and, uh, you know, a lot of the headaches that I had would, would go away and things like that. So there, there's, there's a lot of truth to that. And, and with the toad, you know, you break your, um, you break that, uh, that veil of consciousness, you know, because right now we have an understanding of what consciousness is, right? And we think that consciousness is this human experience and that's all we have as a basis, you know, this human experience. But once you do the toad, you break through that consciousness, experience um, something immeasurable. It feels as if like you are part of, if you go into like an ocean of consciousness, like you just yeah, well, you're basically you're contacting the spirit realm you're you're contacting spirits and that you are you're basically accessing the most high and doing going into a realm where you're not supposed to be going to and that's why that shit is sorcery and witchcraft and it's punishable by death and you know this guy's lucky he didn't get put to death yet man you know, and the Lord is using this as an example, you know, for people not to follow this, man. You know, for the Lord, Yahweh Shemel Shai, to use the prophets to teach because of this. And he might get put to death real soon. We might hear about this guy getting killed or um, him just having a heart attack and dying. And, you know, oh, yeah, he had a heart attack and died. We shot Evans, you know, he overdosed on mushrooms and died, you know. And the reason is because he, he's teaching it. He's basically saying, yeah, man, I'm not going to ruin the surprise for you, you know. Yeah, man. No. And the other guy was like, I'm not doing that shit. I'm scared to death of that. You know, I was like, the Lord speaking through him. Don't do that. This is against the scriptures, brothers. You drop into an ocean of consciousness and you stop being the drop, but you start to be the ocean. And you really know that you're the ocean and you know that you've always been the ocean. And um, that's what you feel like once you've done a toad. But once you have that understanding of consciousness, you know that consciousness is ever expanding. So once you break that veil of consciousness, it um, it makes you see life totally different. It makes you see all the problems and all the things that we go through. It, it makes some. Um, it really puts things in perspective, and uh, it, it's one of those one of those things that once you do it. It's uh, it's because it's really hard to explain, more or less. It's mm -hmm. more or less, you know, once you do it, you're like, I finally get it. Because I used to read books like, you know, by, um, you know, by. You see how when he when he looks up to the upper right, he's he's got his thoughts in order. When he looks up to the upper left, he's searching for something to make up. You know. Cotole and all these different uh, great intellects that talk about the oneness and all these things, and I can understand it from that perspective of just, you know, from a conceptual perspective, right? I can see, oh yeah, that makes sense. But there's something different once you have that. You see that? Things that make sense. He looked to the upper right. Now watch this. Experience. Once you have that experience, it's like. See, now we went to the upper right. Or to the, uh, to the upper left, rather. Instead of the upper right. The upper right was his actual logic. And, and the upper left was just bullshit. Oh my gosh, like. I'm literally every single thing, you know, like there's, there, there is no separating me from anything in existence. It's, it's a crazy thing. It, it, it certainly sounds. All right, that's enough of that shit. So, that's wild, man. Exodus 22 and 18, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Okay, Deuteronomy 18 and 10. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire or that useth divination or an observer of times or an enchanter or a witch. Okay, let's go to that, man. Let's go to the witch. Because that man is a witch, dude. In Hebrew, H7. Eight four. Sorcerers, witch, witchcraft, properly to whisper a spell. Okay, and when he licked that toad, it was a spell that was upon him, that was cast on him, and he was out of his damn mind. To enchant or practice magic. Okay, 
DMT from a toad, you're not supposed to be licking no goddamn toad, man. All right? The Lord told you what, what foods were clean and which ones were unclean. And you're not supposed to eat nothing that's in the rivers or in the, in the, uh, which the, which the toads go into the river or into the water. And when you're licking something, you're consuming it, you jackass. So you're licking it and getting high as hell as the sky, casting a spell. And like I said, if it doesn't have fins and scales and it's in the rivers or the, or the waters anywhere in the ocean, you're not to eat it if it doesn't have fins and scales. Bottom line. She was going off on all the law. And then you're telling other people to try it, man. Yeah, man. It's just, you know what I mean, man? No, we don't know what you mean. Okay, the rest of us normal people have a decent handle on life. And we know not to mess with that garbage. Okay? Because you're contacting other gods. That's a power that you don't need to be accessing, you dummy. All right? And you sacrifice, that's basically sacrificing to another God. Verse 20, he that sacrificeth unto any power, save or accept unto the Lord, Yahweh only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Do you understand? You're in violation of the scriptures, in violation of Exodus 20 and verse 1 and 2. Uh, or rather, in verse number uh, three, rather. And it says, And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, Yahweh, thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other powers before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in earth beneath, or that is in the waters, water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Now let me get the word for serve, man. Phone is dying, bro. Oh, damn it. H6, H567. Uh, H, H5647. Okay. I'm going to get definition E, which applies here. To be led or enticed to serve. You were enticed by those spirits to serve those spirits, man. By licking a goddamn toad, you wacko. All right, so that's not the way to go, man. All right? It says to work, serve, to work for another, serve another by labor. Right, and that's what you did. To serve power, um, to serve as subjects, right? And that you were basically... You were basically doing that, man. You were, you were a servant to that. You were a servant. You were serving that other God. Like it says here, service, tiller, transgress from margin. See? Worshipper. You were worshiping another God, man. Yeah, man. You're like disassociate from yourself, man. And like become part of like a higher consciousness, man. Yeah, no, I'm all set, bro. I'm going to be in my right mind to, to worship Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. We, we got the truth, man. Rashad Evans, you need to repent, man. You are doing, you are doing stuff that is out of control. And you know what? It's, it's highly unlikely you're going to repent. It's highly unlikely you're going to repent. You're an old bottle, man. The Lord ain't dealing with no uh, uh, people in that that type of, uh, you know, was raised all their life a certain way and you up over your, you know what I'm saying, out of your glory years, out of your prime, and then you're going to come into the truth? Yeah, I almost highly doubt it, man. You know, never can't tell, man, but I'm just saying, it's highly doubted, man. 
All right, so yeah, slave vassal. Many proper names. There you go. You're a vassal, man. You're serving that God. So now when the shit hits the fan, right, you're going to call on DMT to save you. You call on DMT, all right? And we're going to call on Yahweh, Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the Lord's going to help us, man, all right? Whoops. Uh, judges. All right, Judges chapter number 10 and verse number 13. It says, yet ye, ha yet ye have forsaken me and served other powers. Wherefore, I will deliver you no more. Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of tribulation, of your tribulation. All right. And Rashad Evans, you're an Israelite, man. You're an Israelite, you know, but you don't know that. You think you're a black man, an African-American. You so far gone, man, with them all them all them Edomites that you rubbing elbows with, man, all them so called white people, because you got a little bit of fame or whatever from being on that show, being a, a champion of UFC. You know everybody look up to you and everything. You ain't nobody to look up to, man. We should be looking down on your ass. You know what you got to look up to? Apostle Tahar, Apostle Gabar, Apostle Rakal, and Apostle Rhymelob. That's who you look up to. The elders and apostles of Great Millstone, the men of the Lord. Not your wicked ass. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, whom you are only to serve. That is it. All right? And Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, in which every knee shall bow, man, and every tongue shall confess the Lord, Yahweh Shai. Bashem Haracha Kodash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Shalom. Peace be unto you.